This is the default course navigation widget for LearnDash. And I'm going to show you how to turn this widget into something more like this widget. If you want to see how I did it, go ahead and follow along and let's jump in and I'll show you how it's done. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we need to log into our WordPress admin area and get to the customizer. So if you go to appearance and customize, that will bring you here to the customizer. And we'll go to the section down at the bottom called Learn Dash. This is where all of the styles for the plugin are contained. And then we've got an entire panel for the course navigation widget with a bunch of options. So we're going to click on that. Now it's important to note, uh, I am in tablet view mode here. Um, all of these styles, the plugin works for desktop, mobile, as well as tablet. Um, I'm just doing this here to provide a, a nice preview for you guys. Now, another thing to note is that it'll be important for you to be on either a lesson, quiz, or topic page. There are a couple of styles you'll see over here on the left for the current item or the current page. That's sort of the active navigation item. So you'll only be able to see those styles if you're on an active page. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to the first topic of lesson one. And then I'm gonna scroll down here. And in this area, this is the course navigation widget. Now you might notice this looks different than the default navigation widget that comes with LearnDash. That's because before you even set any of these styles in the customizer, our plugin cleans up all of the default LearnDash styles and tries to mimic your theme as best we can. So we've kind of cleaned everything up and given you a good starting point. So this may be, be already pretty nice for most of you and you may not need to even update these styles, but you do have uh, over 15 different options here, which I'll go through right now. So one of the main uh, requests that I've seen for a lot of people is they don't want to have these arrows that open and close the topics and quizzes that are beneath the lessons. So we can easily get rid of those by coming over here and checking this always show topics and quizzes button. Now you'll see everything is automatically laid out and those uh, arrows are gone. Next up are some of the text colors. So I'm going to go here and let's set this text color to a gray and then on hover let's make it a darker gray. So you'll notice right here we've got gray and this darker gray almost black on hover. We can also change the hover background so I'll go ahead and make that something like a very light gray. You'll notice that here. Current item text color and background color. So this is going to serve for this first topic of lesson one. So let's go ahead and let's make that this pretty teal color. And then for the current item background, let's go teal, but let's go super light. Maybe something like that. There we go. So there's this nice light highlight background color and text to show you that you're currently on this first topic of lesson one. Another thing we can do is we can bold all of our lessons. So I'll go ahead and click that. Now you'll notice each of these lessons right here, uh, first, second, and third lessons are all bolded. That'll make them stand out from the topics and quizzes that are beneath them. We can also come over here and do uh, lesson top spacing. So what this does is it's gonna put some, some spacing in between each lesson. That way if you have a lesson and a bunch of topics, you want those to be grouped together. Let's go ahead and try 30. This is gonna be a pixel value. And you'll notice the spacing right in here. Uh, this is 30 pixels of space and it just kind of uh, opens things up a little bit and cleans it out. Then we've got uh, lesson indentation. So this is the indentation. If you want to have a background color here, uh, this is nice because it'll add a little bit of padding here on the left hand side. You'll see what happens if I change that to zero, then this uh, comes right up here to the border of the background color. So let's put that at eight. And then lesson text color. Let's go ahead and make that the same teal color. Lesson bottom border. So let's go three here and you'll see this adds a uh, thicker bottom border to each of your lesson headings here. You'll see that three pixel border there underneath. We can change that color if we want to. Um, let's go ahead and let's try that and just make it that gray color. Lesson border radius and background color. Um, I'm not going to show, I mean, I'm not going to really tweak these right now. Border radius is only going to come into play if you add a background color. So you can do some kind of a rounded effect. Uh, I'll just do a light gray to give you an idea what that looks like. You'll see that light gray now that shows up here behind the lesson. Uh, and then if we do a border radius, uh, let's do something that's very pronounced so you can see it. If we do 10, you'll notice how each of those lessons are now curved. 
So that is an option there if you want to do it. But for this demo, I'm going to remove each of those options. Let's clear that background color. Great. Uh, topic line separators. So by default, I've added in a one pixel line separator between each topic and quiz. Now, if you want to completely remove them, you can enter zero here and you'll notice that those lines are now gone or you can thicken them up. And if you wanted to make them the same three pixel thickness as your lesson uh, bottom border, you can do that as well. If you leave it blank, it'll use the default one pixel. You can also change the color. So let's say I wanted to make that one pixel border teal. I can do that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clear that and just keep it as the light gray. I think that looks nicer. Topic indentation, quiz indentation. This is gonna correlate to the padding on the left hand side of your topics and quizzes. So by default, um, your topics are indented um, just a little bit and then your quizzes are gonna be, if they're part of a topic, then they're gonna be indented even more to show uh, the relationship here. So if we want everything to be completely flush and all in line with the lesson here at the top, if you remember, we did a lesson indentation of eight. So I'm gonna come down here and do topic eight as well as quiz of eight. And now you'll notice what happens. Everything here is completely flush and in line on the left-hand side. And there's a nice uh, little bit of uh, padding here as well for the hover background color. So that looks pretty nice. And the final option that we have here so far is this return to um, our course link at the very bottom. If you wanna completely remove that, we've made it really easy for you. You just check this box here at the bottom, hide the return to course link, and that link will disappear. So those are all the options that we currently have. Uh, we probably will add some at a future date, but as of right now, there are 17 different options for the course nav widget. I hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.